I'm Dr. Dacker Davis. I'm the athletic director and assistant principal at East High School. Well, actually, I first came to East in 2010, so this is my second second time at East. As I started to look at, at opportunities, I realized that East was open, and then, of course, ecstatic to, to land there as assistant principal and athletic director. It's, uh, it's a little bit larger than when I was there the first time, but what's definitely different is uh, we're doing this in COVID times and a pandemic, so um, it's nothing like the first time I was there. But, you know, some of the positive things that are, are the same um, are so much of the staff is still there. Of course, we want to make sure and, and, and are hopeful that our athletics will have an opportunity to compete. Um, our athletes are excited and they're working hard. That's really one of my biggest hopes is that we can do it safely uh, in the world of COVID. Um, I'd love to go and watch our, our women's national team play. Got a chance to go over to France last year and watch that. But I spend a lot of time watching athletics and um, and participating myself. Uh, you know, I played college basketball and softball, so just anything I can do to stay active. I've taken up golf and absolutely love it. I'm not very good at it, so I keep spending way too much money with it. Um, but it's been a lot of fun, so that's what I'm doing now. because there is the East Film Festival. The East Film Festival? Exactly. The festival itself is on October 22nd, but make sure you get your submissions in on the 15th or else you won't get in. Well, boy, I better start working on my film then. We can't wait to see all your great submissions. Good luck. I'm Maddie Levin. I'm a senior and I'm one of the editors in chief of the Spotlight. I've been on the Spotlight since I was a sophomore, so this is my third year. I'm Leo Kamen, also a senior, also the other editor in chief of the Spotlight. Yeah, I've also been doing it since sophomore year. You have to be a sophomore to join the class. We both done it every year that we can. We write stories about basically like a whole mix of things ranging from like East sports teams, East clubs to like big like national news stories surrounding the election and stuff like that. It's been interesting. We're typically a print issue, so we've been doing everything online. Um, we have a website. We've had it before quarantine, but we've really uh, started using it a lot more ever since. For me, I think it'd be the people. And also it's just, it's interesting to see everyone take this um, power that they have and use it to tell their stories. I think that's really one of the best parts about journalism. I think just like being able to yourself and watch other people just do what they want in a class in high school and self-direct themselves, which is kind of rare. It's pretty easy. You can either join it through your counselor or you can honestly just stop in. Right now we're not necessarily like um, a full class all year round because we're just one period. So next quarter will be a club and that will be open for everyone, including, you know, past writers and editors. So if anyone's interested, they're welcome to join and write for it. Hi, I'm Jerry. I'm a 12th grader at East. What have you been doing like during this whole quarantine time? Um, streaming, YouTubing, all those kind of things. Yeah, yeah. What kind of stuff have you been streaming recently? Um, Call of Duty, Warzone, uh, Among Us, I guess. Like, um, I've seen that you got merch. <laughs> well, how, how did you design that? It was a, it was a test. Um, um, it was very much a test. Um, <laughs> I wanted to see how I would like to have merch out um, because like. I started selling actual merchandise before COVID, and it was kind of a hassle because I had to sh sh wait for it to ship to me, and then I had to ship it out. And people were kind of nice. I had some people complain about the way the packaging was done. I'm like, I'm not a professional company, so don't. But, um, but you know, I was making sales. The biggest sales I had, one person bought $200 worth of merchandise. 
I went out and partied that night downtown with them. But <laughs> how long would you say you edit each video? How long does it kind of take? <laughs> but I have my editor to do it, and I do it myself. I would say it's sometimes I could do a bunch of videos at once. They take me like a whole 15 hours to do. Wow. That. I usually do a week of filling content, so if something's wrong and I don't have time to put actual content out for that day, I still have a video releasing that day. Nice, what kind of stuff have you been posted on your YouTube? Yeah, uh, a lot of gaming stuff, uh, walkthroughs, reviews. Reviews used to get more views than actual walkthroughs, because you can find those from any other channel. So anything else you wish to kind of tell everyone on AOA? Um, well, uh, if you watch Twitch, find me on Twitch, it's Holy Mike Gaming. Um, I stream pretty much a lot of games, and yeah, if you have any feedback, let me know, and I'll happily make changes. Who are you? Boo! <laughs> Ooh. I'm the end of the quarter, ghost. Like a melody. What are you doing here? Well, I'm here to remind you about some few important announcements. The end of the quarter is coming up And I know you feel like giving up But hang on in there, remember these three things and in your missing assignments, communicate with your teachers, and most importantly, take care of yourself. I definitely need to go to bed.